In this video, I'll show the endings that we can use for the overslay in the tango in the gold. Now, there's as many things as you can think of that you can end an overslay with, but we're going to use the endings that are given in the imperial in the ballroom technique. Some of these endings we've covered already in the endings to the chase, where you can dance the chasse into the whisk. So we'll have those variations as part of it. If you look underneath at the three season followers, you see the follows. These are many of the options. So the other videos we did, we had done a drag, then we had done an oversway to a drag, and we had done the ending of a promenade tap. So that's of course one of the options here. If we're in the oversway that we could pull the free foot, pull the right foot to the left, and tap into promenade. Now we can do the opposite. We can go to the right and tap in promenade. So I just need to make sure I allow my lady to recover from the other way that she'll come up or that she'll stand up as she moves to the other side. Then we can also use the whisk so you can come from the oversway into a follower whisk, and that with a promenade tap, or end that with a promenade link. So basically for the man, that's the same thing that he's doing with his feet, but if he does the promenade link, he'll need to close the lady, so there will be a little bit more adjustment through the upper body. Then if we dance the chasse, so again, we would make sure come up out of the leg slightly, dance the chasse, dance the whisk, and do the promenade tap or the promenade link. Just like the ending of the chase, we have different options on the timing. We could do quick and quick, slow and slow. We could also count that quick, quick. Or I could dance quick and quick, 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 slow. Then just a little bit more advanced would be to spin to the right, up to a full turn. So you would need now to make sure you advance the lady so that she can move around the right leg. And we'll spin to the right and then with the promenade tap. So if I would do the lady's part, she needs to be able to recover. She needs to move her hips around the man out into the promenade position. So there's quite a few options there, and of course in the open categories there's many other options for ending an oversway or putting other lines on top of it. But today we're just covering what we have in the technique book. We're looking now at the chart, and this is on page 122, it's figure 22, fellow, which is your gold syllabus, the oversway. And coming down here to the endings. Now they don't have the ending of simply going into the whisk, but that is a very popular ending to use, especially if we're going to dance maybe a whisk and a close to a contra check or some of those other groups we do in open. But here we have the transfer of weight to the right foot, placing the left foot in promenade, or the option of closing the right foot to the left foot. Now that's a simplification of what we did when we used a drag ending. Then there's the chasse to the right into the whisk and then the chasse to the right. They have two different endings there, the promenade tap or the promenade link and you can see the two different timings there where you can dance the uh, quick quick slow on the whisk and coming out on the quick quick. So let's just go through that. So chasse Quick and quick, slow would be the whisk, and then quick, quick, the promenade tap. Or quick and quick, quick, quick being the whisk, quick, quick, and then the promenade tap on the slow. Going down to number five, the chasse and whisk as above, and then closing the right foot to the left foot. Now, I don't think I showed that one on this video. It's hard to remember all these variations without looking, but I did put that on the video of the chase endings and that's where you bring the right foot back 
together and then replace the left foot. Then we have the spin to the right, ending in promenade, and the spin to the right, continuing on with the chasse. And again, the options of dancing your, your whisk on a slow or on a quick, quick and tap on the slow. So this is the ballroom technique. This is the imperial, the one that we use in actually in most of the organizations and here in the United States. Now there are different organizations that have different books, but this is the book we use for the imperial examinations. So that's the one that we're working from.